Uh, Pam. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some uh, some food related things. Now, has been. I feel like a lot of the 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 progression on stream has been focused around getting us through the tiers, um, and we gotta take care of other things too. Uh, like his ooh. Uh, oh, it's the same quest. It just shows up multiple places. So this is the hint on like, oh, you can use hydrogen, uh, natural gas. You can, uh, you know, do things, but that's fine. I don't care about that right now. Fishing, farming, cooking. Uh, so there should be a quest here. There's juice that I did before. Uh, kitchenware, there it is. All right, so uh, saucepan, pot, Rolling pin is not a thing that we need. I thought there was something else. Like the rolling pin has durability, but isn't there something else? I guess not for making uh, some things. Oh, no, no, no. You can use bakeware. Yeah, we probably want to make bakeware if we can. Or is that a separate quest? Okay. Well, let's uh, let's work on doing this quest. How about that? And we'll see where that takes us. So let's... Um, I'm going to make a new page here. And we're going to bookmark... So it looks like we need iron plate. So we should... Uh, I think we have some iron plate. But we can see about making some more. Uh, a pot... Same deal, iron rings, iron plates, um, and a rolling pin, I guess we can make. We can make an expensive one out of wood. Uh, mortar we've made before, a mixing bowl. Okay, so we just, again, need iron plates, iron screws. Uh, soft mallet we've made before, a skillet. Same deal. All right, so we're going to try to make those five things. I think that's what we need, right, that we haven't done yet. And that's going to give us some handy things for making interesting foods. Uh, foam to firm tofu, uh, not 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 foam turfu or whatever I was going to say. Firm tofu, butter, flour, and uh, a loot bag. All right, cool. So, um, how many iron plates do we have? Is a question. We have two. All right, let's take a stack of iron. And process that and we'll also make some screws and again this is a situation where yes we could um, make LV machines and stuff but I think I don't know we're gonna have to I'm gonna have to figure out kind of like with the, uh, um, we'll, we'll have to look at the quest book if we have time today we'll circle back to looking at the LV machines and how that's gonna work uh, but for now, what I want to do is I'm going to make some iron rods. And then, yeah, we only have three screws. So let's make some iron rods. This is... Where? Oh, it's right there. It's in my inventory. My uh, steel file. That makes this a little less annoying to deal with that I have a steel file since it lasts a, a bit longer. Um, okay, so what can we make here? I, I suppose we can start by making the rolling pin. We just need one more stick. Start with the easy thing. Uh, it helps if I click. Uh, with the shift key held down. There we go. There we go. One rolling pin. It sees it. That's good. And we'll put that in there. So this is going to be... The the plan is that this work table will have our um, commonly used Pam as recipes. We might need multiple of them at, at some point. It's also sleep. Uh, another thing I could do at some point is actually, like, find all the spawning area nearby here and just have everything lit up. 
so that there's no place for mobs to spawn. Uh, that is also a thing that could happen. Uh, all right, so did that. Let's make the saucepan if we can. We are short sticks. We need more sticks. Okay. Yeah, we got a bunch over here. Drop those all in there. And a saucepan. If I if I could quickly recall where the setting was, so that I didn't didn't have to hold shift, I would. Uh, I just don't remember where that is, so I'm not gonna bother. I just need to remember to hold shift. That's some interesting background music going on right there. Uh, all right, so that's the saucepan, the pot. Okay, we need plates and rings, the mixing bowl, plates and screws, the skillet. Just more plates. So let's let's make the skillet next, maybe. Grab those copper plates while I'm dealing with stuff anyway. Uh, that's the wrong drawer. There we go. The skillet. All right, one of one. So now two things left. So we're gonna need to make some screws and some rings, it looks like. So uh, a bucket as well. Have I been using my buckets? <laughs> I guess I, I've been, those other recipes must have needed a bucket, so I've been using the buckets I've had on me? Question mark? How do we make a bucket? Okay, we can do that. Let's make a few. It's handy to have a few buckets. Um, and then two iron rings. All right, good thing I made a bunch of extra iron rods. And then uh, one screw for that. And then four more screws, so five screws. One, two, three, four, five. And then we need the file. There we go. Uh, and then a pot and a mixing bowl. All right, so that should be the quest. Hey, Jake, how's it going? Cool shrimp sliding in. <laughs> Welcome in. Oh, we have to choose one. Do we want the butter, the tofu, the flour, or the loot bag? Good, just chilling. Cool, cool. Well, we don't have to decide now. We'll, we'll see what comes up. <laughs> and now all these things are available. We'll check those out in a second. There we go. There's the, the notification. All right, so let's put all of our new cooking implements into our work table. It's all of them, right? <laughs> hmm. Uh, looks like we're hungry again, so let's go claim one of the other uh, quest rewards that was giving food that we've not eaten yet, like the strawberry smoothie. Also some coins that maybe we'll use someday. There we go. So... We got all these things. What are we gonna cook? I don't know. There's some, uh, I think maybe some ideas. You caught it, Foxy. Nice. Uh, Jake says, I will be RB though. Just saw you online, so I wanted to lurk while you clean. All right. Well, I appreciate the lurk. Good luck with your cleaning. 
Alright, so pumpkin pie. Uh, <laughs> no chicken escapes. So we can make chicken pot pie and apple pie. So apple pie is dough and apples and honey or sugar and bakeware or rolling pin. What does the bakeware take? Oh, this is why we can't make the bakeware right now. So the bakeware is the thing that we could use instead of the rolling pin. The rolling pin, though, like wears out. But the bakeware doesn't wear out, but it needs stainless steel. And we're nowhere near, I think, what we need to be able to make stainless steel. Like, I don't, I don't even know how you get there. Stainless steel dust mixer. But yeah, here you go. Manganese and nickel and iron and chrome. <laughs> so nowhere near. Okay, so that's fine. But we got all these things, though. We can, we can do some stuff with that. Uh, what can we do? Like with the pot. If I hit O, look at all the things we can make with a pot now. We can make chicken curry, kimchi, chicken gumbo, chico roll, pork lo mein. It's 21 pages of foods. Uh, fried chicken. A sweet pickle. What's fun is that like, oh, look at, we need vinegar and spice leaf and salt and get cucumber and some kind of sweetener to make a sweet pickle. And this is probably like an ingredient. Yeah, there you go. For the plowman's lunch or the ham and sweet pickle sandwich. Like you could go very far <laughs> in making food items. And I think we will. Um, but the question would be like, we have a bunch of food items uh, what can we make, right? Now that we have all those, uh, all of the all the implements, there's hundreds here. Like, if I do this, here is, I mean, some of these are seeds and things, but most of these are like food items that we can make. Like, here's a meat feast pizza. <laughs> Here's a jam roll. Ooh, chocolate bar. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, butter. Do we need? Okay, so we can make butter from soybean through silken tofu. So that's firm tofu plus the rolling pin, wet tofu. So it's a it's a multi stage process. At least at our technology level. Like soybean plus water bucket. It's kind of annoying. But we could go that route if we don't want to deal with animals. And like milking cows and going going that route. Uh, but that is kind of why I picked the food items that I did. Um, for the, uh, the lunchbox right now. So I think... We have food for now. Um, I just don't know. I don't know what would be like the next, like the progression, right? Like uh, a lot of these food items can be ingredients for other things. Like that's what I did with the uh, soybeans into soy milk, into plain yogurt, into pineapple yogurt. But that's a very easy, like you don't, you don't require any kind of tools to do that. Like if we want to do chicken curry, uh, what we'd have to start growing rice, uh, and we'd have to deal. Probably the easiest thing would be to go the tofu route. It's just so much easier to do the soybeans into tofu than deal with um, animals. And we have the other things, although we're not cultivating coconuts right now. But you can see there, you know, it's, it's dairy, fruit, grain, protein, vegetable. It's pretty filling. So that could be something that we could do, right? Um, 
And of course there's all these different fruit yogurt combinations. I think I've not done this one, cranberry. But yeah, so, I, I don't know. Might require further thought, honestly. Maybe what we can do, I'm gonna wait two seconds here. And maybe what we can do is we can run over to the old house. There's a bunch of food items in there. Maybe we can identify something we can make from what we have. Um, now that we basically have all of the um, Pam's tools. Uh, yeah, before we do that, though, I do want to show off the lumber axe. For those that haven't seen that, let me have a snack here. You might also notice there are fewer trees uh, around in general, and that's because the lumber axe makes it a lot, lot easier to uh, deal with trees because, uh, yeah, it cuts down the whole tree. <laughs> it's a lot less hassle than having to, you know, Potentially, if the tree's tall, like, climb up and chop it all down. I don't think it would take down one of, like, the big redwood, the thing we're building our uh, uh, base in, in one go. But uh, for most trees, like, even these, these tall ones here, it does a pretty good job. It sometimes leaves some bits at the top. But for these kind of trees, the rubber wood trees, it's, it's pretty... Uh, cleanly done. Alright, so this is this has been an ongoing project to just like plant more and more saplings here. Kind of expand out our uh, rubber tree farm. So just from a few trees we did get three sticky resin directly. Which is good. Um, yeah, so in the house, it's been a little while, server, okay, there we go. Uh, so we have a lot, a lot of fruit, we have a little bit of meat. What I would want to do is probably use something where we have like a stack or more of something so I can make it like a stack of a food item. So like here we have curry leaf. We have like 84 curry leaf. What can we do with that? We can, uh, can we make the Pam's Harvest Craft mortar and pestle? No, because we need stainless steel. Okay. So for right now we have to use the normal uh, gray tech mortar to turn it into curry powder, but we can have a stack of curry powder very easily. And then there's a lot of things we can make with the curry powder. Um, the question is, are these things that are otherwise practical to make? Curry rice. This shoe's going to be salt, I think, with a lot of these. I don't know that we have a good amount of salt. That might be something that's going to hold us back right now. Uh, yeah, we have like nine salt here. Um... Have I come across, yeah, there's a salt Spain that has rock salt and salt and other things in there. So potentially we could mine for salt if we need that for uh, culinary purposes. Um, fried eggs is interesting. So with the skillet and eggs, we can make fried eggs. I think we have eggs here. Or maybe I've moved them or put them up here. I don't know. What happened to the eggs? I don't see them there. Um, 
Yeah, so it's just a skill and an egg, fried egg. What's fun is that pretty much all of the all the recipes in the mod pack, this this might be like a Pam's Harvest Craft thing, but you can just use tofu instead of like a meat or an egg. And we've not eaten it yet. Can we do anything with a fried egg? Yeah, we can we can make a few different things. A beet burger and a hearty breakfast. So we can also use tofu. So we could double tofu and then toast and then potato cakes. Uh, we also need a juice. But look at the uh, how how satisfying that food is. Look at all those haunches and saturation markers. But now we need like onions and potatoes, which we have, but also butter. What's so funny, Foxy? Yeah, but butter again needs salt. So we, we might come back to that. I don't know. Never enough potatoes. Yeah, we have 214 potatoes. Uh, in terms of like growing stuff, it's really easy. And especially now that we're, um, the one side of it, it being on a server now means that like I can log off and the stuff will keep growing and I can come back and it'll be there. Um, at some point we'll be able to automate growing crops and like their harvest and that's when we'll start really you know uh increasing our our <laughs> production there we go but yeah this sort of thing is something i i had been doing um more between streams Every once in a while, coming over here and harvesting. Um, carrots and strawberries. So we got a good number of things. Uh, sweet potatoes? Where's the potato queen when you need her? <laughs> uh, where indeed? Uh, what's interesting, so hold on, so the smoothies, the smoothies are, oh right, this is something else where we can't make the juicer. This is another thing that needs stainless steel, but we can instead use a soft mallet. Okay. So if we wanted to connect, uh, collect a bunch of snow snowballs and fruit, we can make smoothies. And they are better, they're three times better for the cost of a snowball in terms of nutrients. What am I what am I doing for fruit right now? That's vegetable. Uh oh yeah, the berry medley. Yeah, so the berry medley is one and a half percent fruit. But that's the same as the um we might switch to smoothies, potentially. I have to think about that. Yeah, see see how fast the, the trees grow over here? It's very nice. Um, okay, well, I'm not really feeling doing the, uh, the food thing right now. I think I need to figure out more of like, what is going to be good, like staples. Like one of the things we want to do, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of the things we want to do is figure out like, what are the, um, what are the things we need to make lots of different kinds of food items? So as an example of that. Um, soybeans into tofu because tofu you can use as a um, kind of a staple for a bunch of different food items the way the recipes work in this anyway um, so we could I, I sort of was already thinking in those lines which is why I have all these soybeans planted <laughs> Yeah. Uh, oh, missed a couple. There we go. I have eaten this before, right? Okay, good. Don't need to eat it then. Soybeans and sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes because that is kind of one of the um, staples. 
uh, for kind of my current loadout, my current meal plan. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, yeah. So here's something I came across that I realized I had not gathered before or planted. Uh, beans. So let's get another plant. And uh, yeah, not eaten yet. Right, right, right there. Not eaten yet. So let's let's eat that. It's the raw bean. There we go. I get the little hearts that indicates that we we've not eaten that before. Now the the soybeans are good and all. Uh, the issue is that it's kind of annoying to deal with because we need a bucket of water. Um, I think to do the process. So I have to go down and get some water. Or we can go back to the, um, let's go back to the bakes because we have the, the, um, the rain collection to get water out of. So we're not destroying more of the river. And then I think after uh, we play around a little bit with uh, some soybeans, we'll, uh, let's work on our steam generation. Work on uh, making a big tank to put steam in and how we're making steam. And then, uh, then it'll be kind of time to probably circle back to the low voltage uh, machinery stuff. There we go. All right, so. Oh. Whoops, I didn't mean to bring those things with me, but oh well. That's why I have a random chest in the middle of the room to throw extra things in. There we go. Uh, so, let's clear that out. I think it's, oh yeah, so we can do this. There we go. And then soybean. Isn't it like, not like that? Such a hoarder, right? Uh, how, how does this work? Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. Okay, so if we do it this way, where we use the uh, the Pam's Harvestcraft fresh water, then we can process uh, two soybeans with one bucket of water. And that gets us wet tofu. Yeah, it, it's mostly organized, except for the parts that aren't. And then we can do that. What do we, what do, we do with wet tofu? Ah, now we need a soft mallet. Yeah, now we need a soft mallet. Can we make another soft mallet? Um, I think we can use rubber. Let's see. Let's do a rubber one. We have a bunch of rubber. So last longer. There we go. Twenty-five thousand durability. All right. So we go from wet tofu to firm tofu, there we go. Now firm tofu, we can just eat, um, but then this is what can be used in a bunch of different cooking recipes as a meat substitute. There 31 pages of recipes that all need that. And that's what I wanna ultimately do for like food stuff in this, is find things that are re uh, ingredients in a as many different recipes as possible and focus on making a lot of those things. And then, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So we can make as many different kind of food items as possible to be able to get extra bonus um, hearts. It would have been cool if that would have given us an extra heart, but that's the idea. All right, so let's put stuff away. Iron plates go next to the iron ingots there. Uh, wood pulp goes over there. Uh, sticky resin goes there, and the uh, rubber wood goes over here. Finish up all these extra things that we have in our inventory. There we go. Uh, put away the coins. Set down that uh, bronze machine somewhere. Let's just stick it there, I guess. All right. 
And then what did I say we were going to do next? Better scene production, I think. All right. I think we might, we might potentially have the materials to do this. I hope we do. One of the things, one, well, I did mention it already. I went and did a bunch of mining. I mined out a whole iron vein over here. But I've not processed all those materials yet. So a keen eye might have spotted these barrels. So we have 563 yellow limonite ore. So this is a um, uh, an iron, where did it go? Oh, I see, it went into the backpack. It's, a, it's an iron ore. Let me lock my miner's backpack so we don't have stuff flying into there. We have uh, 151 malachite ore. This is another iron. No, this is copper actually, but it's it's present in the iron vein. Uh, we have 352 banded iron ore, 73 magnetite ore, and uh, 643 uh, brown limonite ore. So thousands of extra iron if we need it. Uh, so yeah, I've been kind of busy this week <laughs> in between streams. Uh, right. So what we need to do is make a few things. We need to make iron tank walls. So this is, uh, iron screws or variants of and iron plates or variants of. So we need four screws and four plates per two iron tank walls. And the minimal size of this is three by three by four. So you need um, eight because you're gonna use a block on the bottom for the valve. Uh, so you eight and then eight and then eight, and then eight. Uh, 32 minus two, because there is a place for like a gauge we can put on this. So we need 30. So we need to make this recipe 15 times. So that means we need 15 times four, uh, 60, 60 plates and 60 screws. And we have 27 plates. Um, so 60 plates for 60 plates. We need, uh, three halves as many ingots. Uh, <laughs> is that 90, 90 ingots, um, to make 60, but we already have 27. So we really only need 33 more. So we need what another stack or so of iron turned into plate. Something like that. And now we need to make all the screws while that's going. And hopefully I did that math right. <laughs> or we're gonna make extra. Uh, so for screws, it is basically one ingot per screw. Uh, and we need uh, 15 times four, so 60 screws. So we need 60 ingots. Okay, that's not too bad. So that's like two, it's, it's probably for the minimal size tank for us to put steam in. It's like three stacks of iron, which a few weeks ago, that would have been a much bigger ask than it is now. Uh, although I think we're probably gonna destroy our file doing this. Almost. Well, we're only half done with the file, so. By saw. Time to make a new saw. Um, I guess we're gonna make a steel saw uh, eventually. I think I'll, I'll do bronze one more time because I don't have any plates handy. 
Yeah, sauce, 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 salsa. <laughs> you could probably make sauce in, salsa in this. No. Pam's Harvest Craft has failed. There's no salsa. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, I didn't hit shift. There we go. Bronze saw blade. All right, and then we need, uh, what is it? It's just the stick, right? There we go, new saw. Um, there we go. I think I had two extra iron rods there. Now this is what's gonna destroy our file though. Because now we combine the iron bolt, bolts and the iron screws. All right, we made 20. Uh, let's see, so the file, we're, we're gonna go make some more steel plates, I think. Yeah, let's go see if the iron is done. Oh, it's night time. Mm-hmm. There we go. So we need two steel plates to make a new steel file. There we go. Do we have enough iron plates? Maybe. Okay, so... File is just this, yeah? At some point, we should be able to make, yeah, a file head. Uh, we need an extruder. And the extruder needs LV machine hull, two circuits, a bunch of uh, oh, copper wire, an electronic piston which needs an electric motor. All right, so we we could do that probably. Like, we could dedicate the rest of the stream. It might be able to make that one machine, but instead, let's just carry on. There we go. We used a third of the file just to finish making those screws. All right, so iron tank wall. Um, oh, we're using the screwdriver for that too, huh? Okay. Now somewhere we have the, um, the other things we need. We got from the, um, the loot games dungeon, iron tank valves. Um, I thought there was something else, but I guess not. Okay, so there's something else we do need to make, I think. Uh, I think there's a quest for this. Let me go check. It's in the uh, the multi-block goals. There we go. We looked at this a while ago, um, but I wasn't really convinced that we need to do it. But yeah, there we go. It says we need 30. <laughs> I didn't even need to do the math. We need 10 more of those. We need two iron gate, uh, iron tank gauges. Okay. Let's get that going. Uh, we need glass. The good news is we have glass. I don't know if we can make those glass panes the vanilla way. Nope. All right, how do I make you? Ah, with the saw, of course. And of course, I I didn't shift click. Okay. There we go. Two of those, and then the rest of these. So that's five times two is ten. So that'll be thirty. 
All right, so that is that quest. Done. Now that can give us one of these things. I'll claim this later. We, we might have a need later for one of those specific things. Okay, so what all those blocks will allow us to do is to make a tank uh, to hold steam. Um, but what we probably need to decide what we're doing is where we're going to have uh, things, things and stuff. Like, I probably want to take the water tank and maybe move it up. Or do I? I guess I don't. So the issue with moving, so we can move it up and that would give us lots of space. Right? But then we'd have to run pipes down. Uh, then we'd have to, you know, we'd have to make those pipes. So instead, maybe what we want to do is use this room as where we're going to make steam. And then, how much space do we have here? Like, if we can stack this stuff up, right? So, like, we have a three high room here. So, the floor is block number four, right there. And then we have kind of, um, do I have torches on me? I do. All right. Let's, let's figure out how much space we're dealing with here. So, this would be the floor of a room right above this. And then we have. So this is basically like, this looks like this is ground level on the outside. But if we have like a room that's three tall and then this is a floor and then one, two, three, and then a floor. I don't know, I think there's a good amount of room in here if we want to, oh right, 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 right. What's immediately below this is this stuff. Take a look. What's in there? Just an empty space. Interesting. Hey, is this is this idle? It is. Let's fix that. There we go. I'm just thinking we might have enough space here to do something to kind of stack everything on top. Again, this is me just taking advantage of the fact that I can carve out some space rather than having to like build a, a building, a base. We will eventually have to do that sort of thing, but uh, I'm just putting that off as long as I can. There we go. Uh, is this gonna be enough room? Does this even make sense to do? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think we could, we can have like all of our machinery using the steam at this level. And then there should be enough room to make the steam at this level since the water is right there. And then we can pump it into a tank that lives right here. We are almost certainly going to want to move the, um, the Coke ovens to be above here. I think that's gonna make it easier to pipe the creosote into the things that are gonna be burning it. And uh, the charcoal, for that matter, will probably burn both things to make steam. Uh, that stuff doesn't need to be in there. We can throw that back into. Oh, right, we don't have the compressor there anymore. Never mind. Toss that in there. There we go. Um, or just carry it down with me. Oh, 
Okay, so we can produce steam here. We need enough space for the steam tank. And I think... Yeah, what I'm going to do is... Um, I know I just filled in the space. We're, gonna, we're just going to make this one lower. And... Um, We'll just use the top of this as the floor temporarily. Like I said, we're gonna move these elsewhere. So this is all, well, everything is temporary, but some things are more temporary than others. Uh, all right, so we're gonna open up a little space here. I wonder, can I use the lumber axe? How, how, how bad is this gonna be? Okay. That works until it doesn't. <laughs> All right. It's a little bit faster. I'm just not really clear on like how much stuff it cuts out. Okay, so this is still not going to be good enough, though, is it? The, uh, the multi-block is three tall, and then we need a space at the top and a space at the bottom. Does this leave enough room below to fit a thing? Like, if I want to make a room above this room where I have all the steam, like, all the machinery. So we'll do, like, storage, machinery, steam storage, and then steam uh, production. Then, like this could go one lower, except this stuff is in the way. Okay, well that's easy. Um, I'm just gonna tear this all out. Oh, I did get the charcoal out, good. And we're not really quite ready to process the um, creosote anyway, so I'm just going to avoid it by breaking the multi-block. I'll just go away, and we, we'll rebuild these somewhere else. Like I said, these need to be built up above anyway for everything to kind of uh, work better. Here, Foxy. We uh, <laughs> redecorating is the wrong word. Uh, remodeling, shuffling furniture, something in between. Ah. I don't know what it is about this. I. It feels like specifically it's this pack. My mouse wants to do a lot of side to side. Little disorienting. Okay, so one, two, three. So we need a floor down here in order to have room for the tank. Um, and yeah, we could do other things. We could, you know, design, you know, something fancy. Uh, I'm just not really uh, focused on like any kind of base design at this point. It's sticking to very utilitarian uh, concerns until um, I don't know. At least through LV. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so this should be enough space for the tank now. So the valve goes on the bottom and on the top with the way I want to set this up. So we do that and that. And then the walls uh, go around, around the outside. Uh, this is kind of an inconvenient. We probably want to have a little bit, little bit of space to uh, 
get around, though. Oh yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> All right, well, good enough. Uh, and then there, 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 there. All right, and there should be enough room for two iron tank gauges. And there we go. We have a formed, uh, Right there, it says formed, yes. So we have a place to store our steam. And so there should be... Yeah, that's fine. Steam goes in there. And then we'll be able to see it accumulate there. We can make it bigger. There are bigger sizes for the tank. And that should be more efficient in terms of materials for volume of stuff stored. But this is a start. And then, in here, we're going to, uh, I say in here, but this is like, this is the outside, right? Yeah. We're, we're gonna dig a space for um, building below the tank. Serve the lag. So somewhere is the bottom of the tank. Hey, there it is. Okay. Uh, right. So we're gonna dig out a room here for all of our machinery to go in. That's why the excavator is nice. And probably the uh, lumber axe as well. Okay, so the steam's gonna come out of there and it's gonna supply our machines with steam. Once we uh, get that far. All right, so. I think what I'll do is we kind of ended up with more space <laughs> down here. I guess I could have brought that lower. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna cl uh, close this stuff in down here, just so that nothing falls in on our head, and uh, good enough. Let's see, how do we end up here? Oh, let's see. Oh. Uh, let's see, let's do that. Yeah, that's good. Sort of. It's good enough. <laughs> So this would be, you know, we'll be able to bring the steam down, have a line running along here, and have machines in front of it. Something like that. We'll be able to fit some stuff in. And that that's really all I care about right now. Just the, like I said, very utilitarian. Alright. So, we can probably... I'm going to leave this stuff here for right now we're gonna need to take a little a little bit of a break when we come back I need to figure out um, so we have some stuff we need to make uh, specifically let's say I don't need that bookmarked anymore or that uh, the liquid field boiler firebox is what we're gonna have Creosa going into and then there's something else which is in the multi-block goals uh, the boiler tank the, the low pressure boiler tank. All right, so this is what we're after next. 
uh, which is going to require a little bit of crafting, but should be doable. Uh, but like I said, so we're, we're going to take a little bit of a break. And then when I come back, we're going to work on making more steam. Uh, and then we can put down the thing to make electricity. That'll be great. All right, BRB.